what's going on guys and gals? My name is Bryson from BCNS Games, and guys, today I have something pretty interesting to show you. It's not a guide, it's not so much any kind of tools or tricks, it's something that happens pretty commonly in the world, but not really to this degree. Now, in an attempt to try to show off my brand new Sunshot Pistol, I actually came across something pretty cool where you actually see two titans of the Destiny 2 universe, a walker and an ogre, actually going at it. This can be found doing one of the light, the dark missions in the Destiny 2 campaign. But, what made this shit pretty cool is usually the player is supposed to actually go in here and just wipe everything out. Instead, as soon as I saw these two, I was like, wait, hold up. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> we may have something here. So what I decided to do instead, guys, is I decided to go ahead and clear out this entire freaking area. Go ahead and get rid of all of these spectators. We're not going to let this primetime fight get interrupted. It seems like this server here is going to go ahead and try to pirate the fight and stream it online. We're going to go ahead and kill him and not let him have any kind of chance of making any kind of money off this. Now, I thought I had these two Titans fighting, but first we're going to get rid of this here. This knight is not going to interfere with this primetime fight. I'm going to give Ogre its pump up electrolytes from my art grenade. And after that, I am going to go ahead and take my spot in the Enlightenment spot at the bleachers, go ahead and just set up and see what happens when these two titans go at it. Though, to my regret, I look over and I see I have a spectator that decided to bum rush the stage. I'm going to have to try to take him out before he can interfere with the results of the fight. As you can see, the sunshine is still new to me, and I learned very quickly it is not good for long range combat. And unfortunately, that knight decided he's going to regen my health. Go ahead and flick me the bird. Say, fuck you, BC. I'm going to kill this walker. I'm like, no, you're not, Mr. Knight. You can go ahead and eat a fat one. One, two, three, four, five. Eat a fat one. You're going to die. One day. Maybe today. Right there. Fuck you, Mr. Knight. Now, with all the setup done, guys, go ahead and enjoy this fight. We're going to go see who would win. You go ahead and pause the video now if you want. Make your prediction between a walker and an ogre, both at around half health. Who would win? this standoff fight. So let's get right to it guys. Just to run down the stats, the walker does have one giant mean beam cannon as you're seeing right now that will shoot and do tremendous damage. It also can be followed up by the three round burst of this plasma pistol. Meanwhile, our ugly butt faced pimple ogre mother trucker has a mean beam that's constantly shooting at around five to six seconds every two to three second intervals. But what has the ogre at an extreme advantage is the fact that unlike the walker, the ogre can actually regen the health. Now while the walker does have a tremendous health compared to the ogre, we all know that to take down a walker, you can hit him in his vital one of his six legs and actually do critical damage to him. Now it doesn't look like the ogre is going to prioritize on that, and the walker is just going to decide to go ahead and chip at his health one mean beam and plasma burst right after another. The ogre is like, fuck that noise, you're going to take this mean beam damage, that constant mean beam damage. Now, right here, guys, I pretty much had my money on the Ogre, considering I saw his health was slowly going up, where he was taking some damage from the Walker. But as you can see, the Ogre will regen health. But then I see this mean beam. Damn, look at that freaking plasma bolt damage. That heavy gun from that Walker is nothing to sneeze at. Here it comes again. And I think, oh, okay, yeah, the Ogre's done for. There's, there's no way. Whoever betted on the Ogre is definitely going to lose their money tonight. Though, the ogre's not gonna give in, the walker's like, yeah, you are, you died today, and the ogre's like, no, he's not, fuck you, one HP in a dream, the walker's like, wow, maybe I didn't plan for this fight, one more mean beam, here we go, the walker's like, you son of a ugly pimple face whore, die already, the ogre's like, fuck you, walker, the walker's like, fuck you, ogre, these titans are constantly going at it, guys, who's gonna get it, now, of course you knew the walker was gonna take it after that half mark, guys, you saw that walker just shred him with that mean beam damage. Now unfortunately he seems he doesn't like me spectating the fight anymore and I'm like fuck you Walker I was on your side but no more. Fuck you. Go kill yourself. And you know what? I'll do it for you. But not before I say bye to my loyal loyal Baconators watching this video right now. Now guys while this isn't something you you know this isn't gonna break the internet so the fucking spectacular. It is really cool to actually see two different titans in the Destiny 2 universe fight each other rather than you know us having to do the job of killing them. Anyways, guys and guys, I hope you did enjoy this little spectacular. Just some interesting interactions of how the AI do see and fight each other in Destiny 2. I thought it was really interesting. If you thought so too, a like does really help the channel, guys. But more importantly, I'll hear like your comments back from you guys. Let's me know what you actually think about the channel and maybe other cool shit you want to see. 
But as always, guys and gals, I hope you have an incredible rest of your day today and a fantastic freaking tomorrow. And for all you guys and gals, because you know we're not sexist and you know we all love the ladies, please, please, if you do one thing for me, always stay crispy. Stay fucking crispy.